About eight months ago, I made a video here on the channel talking about the three best free Minecraft server hostings. Even though I'm personally not a big fan of free hosting providers, I do get there's an interest. And if you just want to play Minecraft with a couple friends and nothing more, a free server might just be enough. Which is why I made that initial video eight months ago and why one of my most requested videos now has been making a part two. I'm going to show you three more of the best free Minecraft server hostings out there. Now do keep in mind that because these servers are free, they are generally not the highest quality and they do come with some compromises. For you and a few friends, these compromises might not really matter. But if you want to make a public Minecraft server that dozens of players can join, you might still want to level up to a paid hosting provider. And if that is eventually gonna be the case for you, I would highly recommend checking out my channel partner, Alienhost. They offer high quality Minecraft servers with top of the line CPUs. Instead of having fixed plans, you can completely build your own server from the ground up with their builder tool. And depending on your budget, you can either go for a cheaper shared server, or if you want all the power, opt for a dedicated one. I will leave a link to alienhost.net in the description, and do make sure to use code KASASARA at checkout to save 20% off of your first month, which will also benefit me along the way. Also, quick side note, if you're watching this video in the first few days after it releases, I still have an ongoing Minecraft giveaway over on my Instagram. I'm giving away a copy of Minecraft Java plus Bedrock Edition for 100% free. I've done about a dozen Minecraft giveaways over on my Discord, the Castasaur Universe, and this time we're doing it on Instagram. So in case you're interested, link can be found down below. And the first free host we're gonna check out today is ScalaCube. Now ScalaCube is a bit of a sneaky website, and you will see why in a minute. Because here on the front page, it says Minecraft server hosting starting at $2 per month. Now that is not free. And when we click on view details, over here you will also see there is no free option. Even if I select a different region, it will say that there is no option to get a free server. But the thing is, there is. Because when on Google you search for ScalaCube free server, you will be able to find this link. And when you click on it, you will get to this page. A 24-7 free Minecraft server. When I now click on get free Minecraft server, it will take me back to the same page we were previously on. And now, there is all of a sudden an option to grab a free server. An option that was hidden before. And it gets even worse, because when we go back to the homepage of the website, instead of starting at $2 per month, it now all of a sudden says free. So they literally change what it says here, depending on if you found the free server hosting page or not. And I know I'm getting sidetracked, but it, it gets even funnier. When you reload, it will keep saying free. But when I clear the website's cookies, and I then reload, it will say $2 per month again. So yeah, they are actively trying to hide this for whatever reason. But the thing is, it is still an option. It is out there. And when you eventually go through the process of getting a free server, which requires you to make an account and fill in some information, you will eventually get to this page. Now, when we now click on servers, you will see I have a 100% free 6 gigabyte server over here. And even though they say that this server is 24 seven, it is not really because you have to renew it for free every so often. So here on ScalaCube, I can now renew my server. And now the server time has been extended for two days, which means I can now play on this server for two entire days before it shuts down. That's not bad. Now, when we click on manage server, you can see that we got a lot of options here, but all of these you can unfortunately not choose from. So no plugins, no mods, but we can still choose to run a 100% free Minecraft server with six gigabytes of RAM, which is quite a lot for a free server. Server. Now, when your server is eventually done installing, which does take a bit, we can finally join the server and have a good time. Now, something you might notice right away, that is not my skin. This is definitely not my skin. Yes, this server is cracked by default. I didn't change anything, it just comes like this. And unfortunately, we are not able to install any plugins on this server to make the cracked experience a little better. And that is unfortunate. On the other hand, the reason I still included Scala Cube on this list is because it is a 6 gigabyte server, which is not bad. With 6 gigabytes, you should be able to play on this server with quite a lot of people without any issue. And even though the renew system is absolutely not perfect, with 6 gigabytes of RAM, all this hassle might 
just be worth it. Now, next on the list, we got Minekeep. Now, the reason I included Minekeep on the list is because it was highly recommended by you guys. This server, along with the next entry, were both called out as some of the best free Minecraft server options in the previous video I made eight months ago. According to you guys, this is one of the best options out there. So let's see if it actually is. According to their plans, you get a single gigabyte of memory, which is not a lot, but you are able to allow 10 players on your server. So let's see what it's all about. Now, after creating an account, which you can do by either logging in with Google or GitHub, you will get to this page. You will get an IP, play.minekeep.net, and then there is a command you will need to execute in game. There we are, looking interesting. And when we now execute this command, your account has officially been linked. Now, when we now go back to the website, we can click on create a server. We can give it a name. I'm going to call it subscribe. Just a little hint, just a little one. And after that, we're going to click on create and bam, the server is here. So when we now go to settings, you will get to the dashboard. And here we can start the server, which is probably the first thing you want to do. And you might notice something pretty cool already. We are actually running paper. So while Scala Cube had more RAM, you could only run a vanilla server. This server doesn't have as much RAM. RAM, but it does actually run paper, which means when we go to files, there is actually a plugins folder. And when we click on upload a file, we can actually upload a file. So look at that. I just uploaded Essentials X. And when I now shut the server down and after that I reboot it again, it's gonna have Essentials X installed. Now it comes pre-installed with via version, which is quite handy. And you can see my server address will be subscribe.minekeep.gg. And now when we enter that IP in Minecraft, there we go. The Minecraft server is now now accessible and the server you can join with 10 people in total now do keep in mind it is still a one gigabyte server so you're only going to be able to do so much but it runs paper you're able to install plugins and the setup process is super easy so this free host might just be a valid option for you and then the last free host of today also highly recommended by you guys it is none other than felix create your own free minecraft server with no hidden fees your server will be completely free thanks to our paying customers and advertisements. Interesting. Now, after you've made an account and you head to your dashboard, you can immediately see how they afford these servers for free. There are a crazy ton of ads here. There are currently six on my screen and I've not even scrolled yet. Now, don't get me wrong, I get it. This is basically the only way how they can make a free server still profitable. Not that it matters a whole lot though, because the only thing we care about is getting a free server. And as soon as we are on the server, we're not gonna see these ads anyway. So by scrolling down a bit over here, we can create our own server. So let's give it a name, of course, I'm creative. Then we can select a game, which like you can see, there are more games you can actually host a server for. We're just gonna go for Minecraft though. And then the server domain, let's see if subscribe is taken. Oh, that's a shame. But what if we just add to Kasai Sora? Now, it, there we go. It works. <laughs> Who would have thought? Now, they are pretty straightforward about what you get. You're about to create a free server. A free server is a small server for a small community with up to 10 players. It has low performance and ads. Just so you know what you're getting yourself into. But let's create the server. There we go. And after a while, we will get to this menu where we can actually choose what game we want a server for. So we we can go for vanilla, but we can also perfectly fine go for a plugin based server or even a modded Minecraft server. It's even possible to install bungee cord or velocity, so that's quite promising. Let's go for paper though, good old trusty paper. And when we go to the console, which we can find in the top left, you're able to start your server and have a good time. So we got a total of 4 gigabytes of RAM, which is not bad. 10 gigabytes of storage which is not much, but to be fair, I didn't expect much more than that. Of course, Scala Cube had six gigabytes, which is more, but they only allowed you to run a vanilla Minecraft server. Here, we can actually run paper or even forge or fabric, and that's with four gigabytes of RAM. Now, it looks like Felix has kind of the same system as Scala Cube, where there is a timer that's counting down, and every once in a while, you can click on add time. So currently, my server will be stopped in one hour time. And if I want to extend my playing session, I can click on add time. Ah, that is how they earn. They want you to watch an ad. And I'm not going to show you this, but currently I'm watching 
a big ad. And after that, there we go. It is now back up to three hours. It works pretty well. Being able to run a four gigabyte Minecraft server that can support plugins and mods if you want. And the only thing you have to do every three hours is watch a 10 second ad. It is not too bad. And after the server is online, we can type in the address click on done and there it is our beautiful free four gigabyte server which we can now play on explore on and invite friends to now when you go to the file manager you can see that yes you are able to upload files and you can even upload entire folders so it is totally possible to upload your own world or add your own plugins and that is gonna be it for today make sure to subscribe to my channel join my discord thank you so much channel members and then i will see you in the next one bye bye see you later bye bye